this morning I took the dew from the broad leaf of the breadfruit tree and wash the sleep from my eyes. I saw a blue sky, the cock crowed again and again. Such mornings, each deep breath is clean as new light. Such mornings, each deep breath is clean as new light. Silence. In our silence, we imagine the shield of mercy as if love's impossible good fortune will keep the wolf from the door. Here is how we count our risks and the mercies of God, this half of an island, this claw of a crab, this city sheltered by mountains, this scattering of quick edifices, the disorder of improvised lives. Here, where the pink cathedral overlooks the squalor and saints cross themselves at each flattened building, at each broken chapel, at each quickly erected crucifix where a church once stood. Here we count our tragedies, the dead, the disinterred, the lost, the infants secreted into the shadow of orphanages or bundled off in Nike sweats across the hills. Then the sea, the world between home and namelessness, the sound of madness breaking through the night, here where even the dogs have fled or have been crushed by fallen stones. A woman can be forgiven for saying she has had enough, that she has arrived at the limit of all that she can bear. So imagine that in this sweetness of a man pouring his need into her, in this instance, when everything depends on her, when his mind is hers to flame or to deplete, when nothing else matters in this tender flight, from the burden of finding the next meal here, hunger leaves the sweet dizziness that makes her orgasm an alarming act of grace. This free gift, this respite, this mercy, this balm, who would not be careless about how to embrace it? Who can blame her for the way she shouted into the night? It is her burden now, not just the guilt of his stumble into fatigue and inertia, but the questions she can't answer, the ones he asked her from the gate, not the weight of his anger and his tears, not his silence, the resignation and the hand he placed on her hand, her soft sigh of acceptance. O oh, Haiti, who is watching to see when the burden becomes too much? When will they say, stop, enough, enough? 